Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. And yes, back in Ireland, back at home base, back at the little local beach. And I just thought I would come out this morning and make an image. For no other reason than it's good for the soul. However, I did come back a couple of days ago with a stinking cold and the last thing that I put in this was a lemsip. And now I've got lemon coffee. Apologies also, right out the bat, for the video quality, probably here. I'm recording this on the old GoPro Hero 6. I'm probably just a big pixelated mess in this low light nonsense. I'm actually going through a little bit of a quandary in terms of camera for doing recording. I may have mentioned this before but I also have the X-T4 and it's a phenomenal bit of kit for vlogging but I mainly got it for stills and I found myself going back to the old X-T2 for stills and using the X-T4 and it was just like ah, what are you doing Nigel? The GoPro hates low light so what did I decide to do? Walk into the lowest light possible. Anyway enough about that and more about making an image. Well, sunrise is still about half an hour away, um, but I just wanted to come down and go for a little bit of a dander along the beach. I had hoped that the waves were gonna be a little bit more kind of vibrant this morning. We have had some pretty windy conditions over the last couple of days, but it seems to have slackened off quite a lot, which is a, a little bit disappointing. There's actually some nice clouds over the sort of horizon, and at the moment they're being lit by the moon is kind of up here somewhere so even though we're still in very much in blue hour I might just fire off a little image here obviously it will be a longer exposure no filters but ambient light and all that just maybe I just like the, the structure of those clouds the layers of them and especially being lit by the by the moon so we'll break out the old pixel box and make a little image now. So I don't know about you, but this is one of my favorite times with the camera. You haven't really shot anything yet. You've just got the camera set up. You kind of been working a little bit on a composition. And then you just sort of take a step back and allow yourself to just really breathe in the, the morning, breathe in the opportunity. Say no great shakes with the, the image, as I've said, but just this this moment where you're now just the only thing missing, a good cup of coffee, not one that tastes like lemons. So that those waves are starting to get a little bit more rough now, so I'm gonna fire off another shot. Two second timer, F something or other. Let's see whether we can get a little bit of little bit of movement. Ooh, that's quite nice. I really love that Ooh. little bit of movement in, in, in the water. A little bit unbalanced with that three by two aspect ratio. I kind of wish maybe I was a little bit more central to that, to that curve. So here come those waves again. So again, two second timer. We're obviously now, I don't have any filters on, so we're, as the ambient light increases, Obviously my shutter time is decreasing. I think that was about six and a half seconds. Don't think there was, no, there, de there definitely wasn't the same energy in the waves, although coming back again. So, and now you see we're down to six seconds. And this is what photography is all about. Having a little bit, having a little bit of a play. And actually what's, what's happening as well, and I don't think the naked eye really picks it up. Well, actually now that I'm looking at it, it does. So behind me here, you obviously have that big cloud that I said earlier was reflecting some of that moon glow. Well, actually, that is also reflecting some of that light down onto the ocean as well. And that's, that's creating a nice kind of mix of colours. You have the sort of darker parts of the ocean on either side, and then you have the this, this sort of lighter bit being reflected off the cloud. And for me, this is one of the things that I really love about photography, the fact that it's making me notice to many in, inconsequential 
little features of the day. But still, I actually think this, with this cloud here looking at it, might suit a portrait orientation. So let me give that a whirl as well. So yeah, I think the portrait works okay, but the cloud now has kind of, it's kind of come apart a little bit and got almost too wide now for the, for the portrait image. So maybe you're back into a landscape format. But actually what I might do as well, now I don't have my welly boots on, which is a oversight on my part, but I love this little outflow. And I've actually been working on a little project, well obviously not over the last couple of months, but when I'm here, I sort of maybe try to pick up an image or two a, a month, just off, the, off this little aft, off this little outflow. And I'm thinking actually just while we have that still, that mixture of that sort of blue R, sort of pre-sunrise color, maybe go down and maybe see whether or not I could use the, the curve of that outflow. Just concerned that I'm gonna get down there and the wave's gonna come in and wash over my feet. And you know how much these boots love salty water. I kind of came out and looking at the, the scene, I was like, ah, nothing, nothing really going on with the waves, but they are creating just a little bit, a little bit of interest, so. Oh, yeah, that outflow just got completely swamped. Scratch that. I think I'll stay up here for now. So I've actually brought myself down onto the beach. Now, I did go over and see whether there was going to be a composition at the little outflow. Don't think there is, not least it's, it's quite messy. There's, as I said, I think the last couple of days we've had quite big, big uh, winds and it's brought in a lot of debris and a lot of sort of cruffus from the, from the ocean floor. Um, but I love the patterns here that has been made on the, on the beach from the outgoing tide. So I'm seeing whether I can use maybe some of that. It is again, just at the, at the water's edge, a little bit, a little bit cruffy. So I'm not sure whether it's going, I like that sort of very natural look. Um, and I do think that's going to work. But what I'm, what I'm looking for now is I'm just taking a moment to see how the waves are actually coming in and what sort of shapes they're actually, shapes they're pulling. Didn't know waves pull shapes, did you? To see whether there would be something that would actually work from a, from a composition point of view. Now there is a little bit of a crossover here of two waves kind of coming together and that can sometimes lead to quite a nice sort of image as the, as the waves are flowing out. But to be honest, it's just about play. I could stand all day here and waffle on about do this, do that. Just come out with a camera and point it at the sea and take a big deep breath and don't put lemsip in your coffee. We're probably going to start seeing a little bit of sunrise colour soon and we might get some nice colour in those clouds. It'd be lovely if we did, I can't see the horizon from here, but it'd be lovely if we did get some colour because the clouds out at sea are really, really, really nice. So, fingers crossed, eh, fingers crossed. Right, I'm gonna carry on looking to see whether I can get a composition from down here on the beach. And we'll catch up when I've got a, an image in mind. We are getting some lovely colour in the sky now. Now, at the moment, it's not really optimal from the composition that I'm going for. Obviously, it's, it's hitting those higher clouds uh, first, but if, if we could get a little bit of that sunrise colour on those thicker, denser clouds, we might be on to something, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. And of course, all of that cloud out there is then reflecting down into the scene as well and just giving everything a lovely, a lovely pink sort of glow. So what I might do is I might wander up the beach just a little bit and see whether I can get a composition. I can certainly see a little bit of that colour coming in those thicker clouds. So fingers crossed guys, fingers crossed. Those thicker textured clouds are really now starting to take on some lovely, lovely colour. And there's a real mixture of colours in them. There's kind of oranges and deep purples and then way out in the distance there's a little bit more cloud cover as well, which is some lovely light. And I think over the next four or five minutes, this is going to develop a little bit more. So put you away and concentrate on making some images. But this actually turned out much better in terms of conditions than I thought it ever would. But very pleased, very pleased.
just limitless actually. <laughs> just playing with the wave structures, playing with how those waves are kind of interacting with each other. Sometimes the wave's coming in towards me, sometimes the wave's going out, horizontal portrait, all fun times. Now the color didn't get as intense as it did about two years ago. I don't think I, in fact, I didn't record that one as a vlog. Um, I thought for a moment the colors were because it was all, oh, it's funny how you, oh, here we go. Isn't it funny how the more time you spend at the sea, you hear a bigger wave coming before you see it. Out there, I knew that wave was gonna break a little bit closer in. Useful skill to have. Yeah, so the, the colors didn't develop as much as they did that morning. I thought for a moment we were gonna get it because it was, it was building up that way, the, the texture, the color. Don't get me wrong, still really, really beautiful. And now, of course, what we'll find in the next, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or so, we'll start to get actually some direct light on them, which I never think works that well here, unless you've got a really dark foreboding sky. But I'm gonna carry on making the most of this lovely light. It may be sort of a bit more subtle than it was 10, 10 minutes ago or so, but still really nice nonetheless. So I'll carry on just playing with those waves, playing with sort of portrait and horizontal um, orientation. I've now thrown on the four stop, giving me about a one second, one and a half second exposure. And as always, F something or other. Well guys, I reckon that's going to be the best of the morning colour done and dusted. It was a surprise. I wasn't expecting it to be so nice. Just beautiful to be out again by the, by the coast. And certainly one thing that I didn't realize that I liked so much, and maybe it was just familiarity, was actually shooting at the coast. Don't get me wrong, I'll still bimble about the odd woodland or two, but there is something very, very nice about shooting at the coast. So I, I can start to see some of the light on the Donegal Hills now, which means that sun is very close to breaking the visible horizon where I am as well. And as I said, I don't think that works as well. I'm gonna hang around here though. I also managed to get a couple of little cheeky shots of my long-term project, Old Nessie. For those of you who don't know, Old Nessie's a little clump of rocks just off the coast here and I've been shooting it several images a year in the portfolio just off that little clump of rocks in all different, in all different weather conditions. So I thought it'd be rude not to make a couple of images of it as well. But yeah, a very pleasant morning all in all. And what is it I always say? It's better to be out than not. And certainly for my own continued recovery, this and this certainly helps. And especially doing it first thing in the morning because it, it does help set me up better for the day in terms of trying not to press that old self-destruct destruct button. But yeah, this was beautiful. And so I'm now going to, I'd love to be enjoying it with a nice coffee, but I've just got an empty cup now that was once full of lemon flavored blech. I'm just gonna sit, not make any more images, just stand here and just, just enjoy the morning. All right guys, well, hopefully you got something from that and enjoyed that. And until next time, Take care, look after yourselves and each other. Bye-bye.